so in this lecture we are going to learn about the layer styles or blending options so for this let me create a ellipse here or circle here as you so i have created a shape here okay yes i like some baby blue colors okay so up to apply some layer styles or blending options to this object we need to either double click on it or select layer and where's the layer style uh layer style and blending option these are all the blending options or we can double click on it and the layer style panel will pop up so first of all we will focus on the shadows option that means which settings here can can be used to apply shadows on our objects like inner shadows outer shadows glows etc so first of all is the drop shadow we will learn about the drop shadow option click on it and you will see a shadow being applied here i know it's very the distance is very far when we are going to dig into this settings so first of all first thing first you need to select the blending mode to normal in each and every settings here for for, for now okay next is the opacity opacity is the transparency of the shadow how much transparent or how much opaque you want your shadow to be and this is the distance how much the shadow will be far away from your object okay next one is the spread how much the shadow should spread and what the size would be of the shadow so this is the outer shadow you can see here there is an option that is stating that use global light i will tell you later what is the function of this one so next one is after the drop shadow we will have the inner shadow it is opposite of the drop shadow let us change the blending mode to normal and increase the opacity you can see that there is a shadow over here let me increase the distance so you can see it better now it is being displayed here because the angle is set to 90 90 means that the light is coming from here and it is showing the shadow over here because it is inner shadow so if i change the light to something else some angle the shadow will move along the angle that i am creating and you can look that here it is stating that use global light now it's time so that i can tell you what is in global lighting so i am going to currently set my shadow to i think here and let me create the drop shadow option and check the global lighting now you can see whenever i move the light both shadows are moving the inner shadow is also moving and the outer shadow is also moving but i don't want any of these affect the other so always uncheck the global lighting no now when i move the shadow the drop shadow will only move not the inner shadow and same is the case with the inner shadow uncheck the global lighting and just turn it according to your need next one is here is inner glow and outer glow so the inner glow means uh no i will discuss it in the upcoming lecture so that is for today the drop shadow and the inner sh shadow these two options are used for applying shadows so in our next lecture we will learn about the outer glow the inner glow and the stroke options that how these options work so that's it for today thank you in our previous lectures we are learning about the shadows in which we have learned about the drop shadow option and the inner shadow option now we will learn about the outer glow inner glow and the stroke option so just first of all we will learn the stroke option stroke is basically an outline 
around your object like currently I have selected let me increase the opacity blue color outline whose size is 4 pixels or 4px you can increase the size you can see now the size has been increased the position can be outside inside or centered that is according to your need and the blending mode will be normal now the fill type is color you can change it to gradient and you can select two color gradient or you can select a pattern and you can select the pattern of your choice like i'm going to select this pattern and okay the scale will be how zoom the pattern will be or how zoom out that pattern will be according to your need and this is the stroke option now comes to the inner shadow sorry inner glow again the blending mode will be normal and the color will be of your choice let us select the black color and the size and the choke we can increase the size we can grow the increase the choke okay now we can also apply gradient but we will not dig into this the next option is for increase the opacity the next option is outer glow again blending mode will be normal outer glow here and uh, spread in the size now what is the difference between outer glow and stroke both are giving some outer shadow to the object but the stroke does not smudge these type of effects on your object let me create a stroke and you can see that on this stroke there is no blurry or shadowy effect on the outside of the object but in outer glow we will get this feature so these are three tools the outer glow the inner glow so inner glow and the stroke and we will learn the rest of these in our next lecture so that's it for this lecture thank you very much so in this lecture of last lecture of our blending options we will cover the remaining options here so first of all we have the pattern overlay here it applies pattern to the overall shape the pattern can be anything of your choice and you have to click on it and it will be applied directly again the scale will be according to your need how much zoomed in or how much zoom out you want the scale to be next is the gradient overlay why gradient overlay here and why not gradient from here we have discussed this thing in our previous lecture that you cannot apply gradients to a vector image if you want the gradient to be applied here this layer need to be converted into a, let me duplicate it into a raster image if this image is a raster image you can apply gradient but if it is not raster image you cannot apply gradients on this one so double click on it gradient overlay and as usual you can select gradient from here you can select the angle either linear radial reflected diamond or whatever want you want from it also you can adjust the scale to match like this one i will drop a shadow i will decrease this distance i will decrease this opacity I'll size it to three and three and opacity will be a bit so that is so next option will be color overlay this time we have the color blue here and if i press on the color overlay and select a color from here the object will change its color to this color and if one and if you want to mix two colors here like this one i will change the blending mode from normal to overlay and sorry not working it's not even working with the multiply here's the multiply okay here you can see if we add magenta color to a pro color it will change its color let me change the color to green now you can see it is changing the color 
according to its selected color next one is the satin option satin here is just for effects or i can say i didn't use this for any other purpose like this select any contour select distance select the size and you can have some cool effects on your objects and last but not the least is the bevel and emboss click here select the bevel type select the technique select the depth how much deeper you want the bevel to be like this one the softness here you can see select the color select the angle and you will have some bevel here let's see I see the outer bevel we can have below we can have emboss everything is present here so that is for the blending option oh sorry i forgot the main thing the main option that is very important and need to be discussed okay so let's suppose i am going to apply a, apply a stroke here i want a circle that is empty from inside so what can i do if i decrease the opacity from here let me decrease the opacity and all the objects are going to be displayed in a dim format but in the blending option we have two types of opacity here one is opacity which is the normal opacity but one is the fill opacity which will change the fill color or dim the fill color or empty the fill color let me change it you can see the fill is gone but the effect means stroke we have applied stayed on this layer you can also use this option if you want to have some what you can say cool effects or some what happened according to your need okay so that's it for now and we have ended this blending options lecture and from our next lecture we will discuss about the 3d how you can convert some object or some text into 3d so that's it for today thank you very much Oh, 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 oh,